So Overwatch released its new collab being Cowboy Bebop and you want to find out if this collab is either trash or gas. Now I'm going to be buying this bundle for you guys so that you don't have to waste your money and find out if this is worth it or not. So judging from the skins itself, honestly, Ash being, you know, Faye Valentine probably is one of the best Ash skins that they have ever released. The Iron Sight on this gun is probably one of the cleanest ones to this day. It is just a circle and you can put a dot in the middle and everything around is so clean. Not much clutter compared to like some other skins. This is also the gun without the gold. That's still pretty clean, honestly. The other cool thing is the bob. The bob's pretty neat. Nothing much to say about it. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like Sombra, but the detail on her head where they has like Ed's symbol is pretty cool. I think the gun's pretty unique with like how Ed likes to play with gadgets and shit. Gun's pretty cool, I guess. It kind of looks like a water gun to be honest, but it's not like the worst thing ever. Honestly, Malga being Jet is pretty fucking cool. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I don't really play Malga anyways, but I mean, having a cool skin for him is, is cool, I guess. Nothing, nothing really much to say about this guy. I think it's solid though in terms of the player model and keeping it accurate to the Bebop anime. Now comes a spike. I mean, everyone, I know everyone's been memeing on him how his hair doesn't really fit but i think it's really cool that they made like his gun based off of the ship that he'd be driving i like the slim peacekeepers now the main issue with a lot of these collabs is that a lot of the times they have to keep the in-game player model and try to make it look like the collab they're doing it with which is kind of hard besides like the lacera film one because they can just give all the characters k-pop skins but doing like the one punch man and cowboy bebop collab Spike's face in comparison to Cass's is kind of weird and Cass is a more wider face and Spike's is more like narrow. I don't say that it's completely bad. I think the gun honestly looks pretty cool and everyone else kind of matches really well, especially Malga's with being Jets. I think that's really dope. Now besides the skins itself, Ash and Cass both have a highlight intro and they're kind of just like references to scenes in the anime and I think it's pretty cool. Bay also gets these two victory poses. It's kind of neat, I guess. Spike gets his little finger gun when he does the sea space cowboy type shit. Zomber gets uh, Ed's little walk, and then, I don't know, Jet gets his own bonsai tree. Don't want to forget to mention these player cards. All of them are pretty clean and neat. I really like the aesthetic of all of these. Personally, I'm probably going to be rocking the Faye or Spike one, just one or the other. Now, obviously, this is just a business thing, but they give you this big bundle for around like 50 bucks. And then you have these individual packs, which is 25 bucks. If any person that can do simple math, you'll realize that if you want like one or two skins, it'd probably add up to the amount of a huge bundle. Which is kind of interesting because some of these $25 packs, such as Jets or Eds, only have two extra things included with them compared to Spike and Faye. Having whole highlight intros and a player card and all that. And then when you get to the point of wanting to buy them, you realize that you can't just straight up buy it exactly, even though I have some extra credits left over. You have no choice but to buy the full $50 pack because there's no in between for like a 35 or whatever. Which isn't just an Overwatch thing, but in general, just a whole gaming problem. I guess the nice thing is when you do put these on, it makes a cool fucking noise. But the real question you guys want to know is, is this worth it? I personally think yes, besides maybe the cast skin. If you're a fan of the show and like playing Overwatch like me, I think it's completely worth it. But if you don't have the money for this collab, or not even a fan of the show, I wouldn't get it, but you probably aren't going to listen to me anyways, because I'm just some guy on the internet. But for me buying this collab for you guys, drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, helps me out a lot more than you think. And with that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.